What's going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be covering these new Icon Swap cards again. The last video I've done was actually discussing the Icon Swaps which just come out and discussing their value, which ones you should be picking and which ones you shouldn't because they're just too expensive, they're not worth the icons and the effort to put into them. If you missed that, go check it out. But in today's video we're going to be covering the actual challenges themselves and talking to you about the fastest and most efficient way of completing all the challenges so you can get your Icon as quickly as possible because obviously it's important if you can get it one week early that means you can play a whole weekend league with that icon and get better rewards so it's important to get it done as quickly as possible all right guys the first one you want to complete is actually the foot champions one obviously you want to go for this one first because it's restricted to the friday to sunday and obviously it was released yesterday which is on a friday so i've completed all of my foot champions games and i've managed to win my nine champions matches this means i can focus on rivals matches and also the squad battle matches now and then the next one you should be going for is actually the single player mode ones. And the reasoning behind that is if you can get all of these done by this weekend, you're going to be in for better rewards on Monday. Obviously on Monday you can open packs, you can get more first owners, which means you can beef up your squad to complete the icon swaps online ones, which require first owner Premier League players and League One, Serie A, La Liga, Bundesliga. So you need obviously better first owner players. And if you get better rewards from the single player ones, that gives you a better shot at completing the online one. So let's talk about the single player ones. You've got Golden Battles, which is something you can complete passively and what I mean passively is you can do that at the same time as any of these three now as you can see I've done one of these for the Chinese Super League now this one is quite hard to build a full team with gold players because the defense only has Miranda and there's a lot of silvers and bronzes it's probably the hardest league to do in terms of trying to get the golden battles one complete the best league is going to be the Eredivisie they have a lot more gold players a lot more cheap gold players as well which are very good players like Promes, Neres, Blind, Van Beek I think his name is there's quite a lot of good decent players in the Ered Eredivisie so you want to build a team that is fully gold and I'll show you what I've done so here's the team that I built for my Chinese Super League team this this team doesn't need to start with 11 gold players because I only need to win six for the golden battles one and I'm going to do that with my Eredivisie team and my MLS team. So this one, what I do is I substitute on Werner and Lengler as centre back and Edom as well. So actually two centre backs here I sub on and then Werner up front and I'm going to be winning my games very easily with this team. It's actually not too bad. Most of the players here are actually first owner. They've not all got full chemistry. But it doesn't matter, it's only squad battles and world class should be quite comfortable to beat. Now my MLS team is a little bit harder than the Eredivisie team to get all golds. But what I recommend you do because the centre backs are price fixed at quite a high rate. Um, obviously Schweinsteiger is not a great centre back, he's got like 34 pace. But what you can do is actually play CDMs in the centre back position. And they'll still get 5 chemistry and that's before you put a manager on. And if you have any loyalty on them they'll actually get 7 chemistry. Now you can see I've actually got here Bradley in goal. I'm not going to play with Bradley on goal. I'm actually going to substitute out and put Courtois in goal, Werner and Nabry. So if I haven't made it clear yet, you can substitute on three players that aren't from the same league as the challenge, but as long as you start with 11 players from the league that is to complete the challenge, you will complete that challenge. And then finally, we have this team here, the Eredivisie League, the Dutch team, and uh, I actually had all of these pretty much first owner. In fact, I don't think I bought a single player, so this is a really solid team um, and probably the easiest to get the wins with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute on Werner, Nabry and Costa because they're players that are currently in my weekend league team. Now guys, when it actually comes to facing off on squads battles, what I recommend you do is actually play the first two opponents. So as you can see here, the left side and then the right side, they tend to be the lowest overall ratings with the lowest amount of chemistry. And then when you go to the bottom one, this Real Madrid one here and then this one here, this is always the hardest. The bottom right tends to be always the hardest. I would probably, str well not struggle, but that will be a lot closer and a lot harder than it would be playing these two teams now i've actually waited to do this video before i refresh but if i update my opponents i'll show you what i mean so let me confirm i've got nine free refreshes remaining and as you can see here we've got a team here 71 rated 47 chemistry that will be an absolute breeze to beat them although my next squad here is not easy it's 82 rated 100 chemistry so it's going to be a little bit random in terms of what teams you get to get to face off against so what i recommend you do is actually play two from each page and then refresh that'll give you a total of 20 games to complete and you only need to win 15 games i mean you should be able to get 15 wins out of 20 games on world class especially as you're picking these lower rated teams if you do mess up right at the end and you need to play some more games what you can do is actually play the team of the week and the kaka 
current feature squad right now. So these three challenges all in all should take you about I'm gonna say maybe four hours, four to five hours to complete these three challenges, which will get you this challenge right here. So this page will be complete from about four hours of gameplay. Then once you've done that, you should obviously complete all of your foot champs matches. Once you've done them, then you can step into rivals. And that's what I recommend you doing. Now for me, if you've got a, a normal team, you haven't put like thousands of pounds on your account, You'll struggle to build a team with seven first owner players from each league and actually come with a, get a basically an overall rated of 83 or above. But even if you do have players that are like 85, 86 or some godly players at like 90 rated, it doesn't matter as long as the overall rate of the squad is down. And what you can do is place 75 rated golds on your bench to bring down your overall rating. So let me show you what team I've got for my Serie A, which I've already completed one of these games just to give you an example. So here is the Serie A team that I play with. And what I do is I substitute out my left back for a Tellers and then I put uh, one of those I'll bring out any of these center backs in for Militao and then I put Werner on for Pastore so I play in a 4-2-3-1 Allen and Parolo at CDM Costa and Quadrado in cam and then Muriel as uh, either a striker or a cam and this team team plays pretty well and this right mid here is first owner that's why I've got him and I've squeezed him into the team but he's got 75 defending 83 pace he is actually going to be on seven chemistry so again don't stress about it too much obviously I wouldn't recommend doing that in weekend league so in this squad I actually have eight first owner of players I have my right back my two center backs my left back Pastore Parolo Muriel and Diego Douglas Costa no not Diego Douglas Costa I always get confused as first owner players obviously I could go and get Alexandro for left back but I will win my games no problem now what I recommend you doing if you're matching up against people of your current standards let's say you're a division three player and that's where you should be you might struggle to complete these challenges because it does say you've got to win the matches with this team now if you're playing people your standards you might have to play seven eight games to get three wins with a team that you're not used to and you're playing players on off cam or out of position so what you can do which is a bit cheeky is relegate yourself down to about division five division six where you're matching up against people of a a lot lesser quality obviously if you're someone that doesn't like to get losses on your records then you've got to deal with it but I, I'm gonna personally try and complete the challenges in my current division if I get a bit stressy I'm gonna relegate myself and the way you do that is you go into a match and you have to get to the fifth minute and then you quit out it's as simple as that and I think these rival wins are probably gonna be the hardest out of all the challenges to do because you've got to do one, two, three, four, five different leagues. Once you've done all of those leagues, you should unlock the golden rivals. Make sure to keep your squad rating of 83 or below, and then you will unlock this one, Icon Swaps Progress. Now for me, just playing in weekend league matches, as you can see, I've actually done 17 out of the 20. So that's gonna be dead easy. That's not restricted to rivals or squad battles. It's literally any game mode. This one, could be difficult it depends which first owner players you have in those teams to get those wins so for example if you're lucky to have someone like Mbappe then obviously you're going to score a lot more goals in your rivals to complete those challenges and you'll get this one dead easy if you're someone that hasn't really packed any good attackers then you might struggle something to note here is you don't need to score 20 goals and win those games so you could be grinding away and unlock this very quickly especially if you're playing quite attacking and have like five game goals at least so that's what I'd recommend you doing play on quite attacking strategies and custom tactics so that even if you don't get the win, you're still going to get to unlock this challenge very quickly as well. Now, if you do all of those 13 challenges, you will get 12 tokens and you'll be able to unlock all of the players from this page and all of the players on this page and even a Miroslav Klose, which I don't know who the hell would pick him. But, you know, there's some Germans out there that might support him. I covered in my video yesterday and I said that I'd probably be going for a Zanetti or a Buccigreno or something like that. So basically one of the higher rated legends. But then I thought about it. That means we've got to wait a whole month for the next tokens to unlock that icon. Although Zanetti Zanetti is an end game player and he will link in Messi. I was thinking, you know what, if I can complete these challenges within the next few days, I'm just going to get a Crespo because I can use him for the next four weeks before I have to wait to get my next icon. And in four weeks time, I might have two or three million coins at my disposal if I get some good packs from uh, rivals and squad battles and foot champs. So I think what I'm going to do is go for my Crespo in the next few days. Let me know in the comment section which players you're aiming to pick up with this and if any of you are gonna get any of the uh, icons within the first 12 tokens like me. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe if you're new around here and hit that bell as well. If you, Even if you're an OG subscriber, you might be missing out on my uh, uploads because you're not, get, not getting notified. Also, if you missed the video yesterday that I covered all of these different icons and what's good and what's bad about them, check that out. It's literally like a 20 to 30 minute talk about all of the players in depth. Anyway, guys, that's enough of me rambling on. Thank you for watching the video. I will see you later. Bye-bye.